know, we'd rather um, create a new world in a new America to where we can, you know, come back in harmony with nature and create jobs that are fulfilling to our spirit and soul, not to some ghost in the machine to all these numbers and sitting behind a fucking computer all the time. I mean, nobody really wants to do that. And if they do, they probably worship money and it's business as usual. <laughs> I mean, they don't care about Mother Earth and what's going on here. Our environmental issues. A lot of them are pretenders. On A lot of them are pretenders coming through the television and, you know, the screen. So, I mean, you know, this whole... I speak out, log, out against the laws of man because... First off, the people enforcing those laws do not understand right versus wrong and do not exercise conscience. That's why they're called order followers. <laughs> so they don't care what they're doing as long as, you know, they're doing their job and their officer or commander above them, you know, tells them, good job. If you keep doing a good job, we'll promote you and you get more money and you have more power over, you know, the peasants underneath you. <laughs> The fucking organized criminal ma mafia. And this government is strategically trying to put us more and more into um, chains, more into enslavement. And these order followers don't give a fucking rat's ass whether they are doing right or wrong. <laughs> I mean, they came after me with guns. There was 12 or 13, 14 of them with guns drawn on me in the middle of the fucking morning. Running around with their heads cut off. Coming after me in the middle of nowhere. And then I talked to my brother, and they throw me in prison. And then I talked to my brother the other day, one of my littlest brothers, my littlest brother actually. And um, he lives down in downtown Sacramento. And he was telling me about how he was, you know, going around his job, going door to door, trying to make commission sales. And the cops come and harass him, saying you can't be going door to door anymore. It's against the law. When it's not, unless it has a no solicit sign, whatever, whether it is or not, it doesn't, that's a fucking bullshit law in the first place. And they were fucking harassing him. He told me his whole story about how, they're like, oh yeah, so why are you giving me attitude? <laughs> the cops are like, why are you giving me attitude? And my brother's like, well, I have every right to go to my, to my, um, paraphrasing here. I have every right to be doing what I'm doing. These are my neighbors. These are American citizens. And. If I'm either, either if I want to talk to them or try to help them save money on some gas, that's my right. Blah, 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 blah. And these, uh, these cops were harassing my brother and his uh, other friend. <laughs> because they're trying, I mean, it's just like, how asinine and retarded are these people in uniform? that they actually believe they have a power and some sense of authority over me, over you, and the common fellow man. They do. Why the hell would they sign up to do that? And even if they did sign up to do that, why did they continue to enslave us as a people? You know, oh, your registration tags are up. You better go take care of that. You're a bad citizen. Or, you know, what's going to come down the line with Donald Trump in office? Are they, they going to come knocking down doors and saying, Oh, you didn't pay your IRS taxes. We're going to throw you in jail because you're a fucking slave. You know, when you have a gang of people dressed up in uniform running around on power trips, for whatever reason it is, they are the ones throwing the first punch. They are the ones being cohesive and being violent people. They're the one creating the majority of the chaos in our society. They are. I wish more and more people would understand that. And especially the ones in uniform could actually go within themselves and identify what they're doing here. What they're doing here and what they're doing to us in the bigger picture of things. But the thing is they are Satanists and they worship ego and they don't care about other people. They don't. That's why they want to have some sense of authority. And that's why they became a cop and a pig in the first place. The vast majority of them. The vast overall majority of them. Yeah. There's probably 1 or 2% that wanted to do good for society. But the vast majority of them have some childhood issues and, you know, 
now they've become bullies in society. That's what they are, they're bullies. <laughs> uh, a, like, if we're being truly honest with us, with ourselves, they're bullies and they're harassing us and they're being violent and they're taking away, they stole from me and then they throw me in jail and then they're like, oh, well now we'll put you in the legal system and now you have to pay the state and the county some fines because, you know, this plant is illegal, this nature is illegal, yet you guys stole from me, you guys stole from me and now I have to pay the state and legal system money because you guys stole from me. You guys threw me in handcuffs, pointed guns at me, terrorized, you guys terrorized and harassed me, and now I, now you're asking me to pay you guys? Fuck you guys, fuck no. I probably won't even pay the fee. You guys stole from me, I did eight months worth of work. I was just about done. You guys stole from me, terrorized me, threw me in handcuffs, and you guys act like you guys have some sense of authority when you guys stole from a human being. Whether it was me, whether it was someone else, you stole from me and all the people I was taking care of medicine for, caretaking. That is wrong, that's a sin, and that is, you know, against morality and God's law and natural order. You wear some fucking uniform and throw a power trip, you act like a bull, you have some sort of, you know, badge that says, oh, I can do this because someone gave you the authority when you don't know the difference between right and wrong, you guys need to get your heads examined. And the best way to do that is to get a taste of your own medicine. We should throw you all in jail and you guys should take some courses on morality and the difference between right and wrong and how ordering or following orders does not exercise your conscience or grant you any authority to one, kill people, terrorize people, harass them, be cohesive, and you know, a lot of them are just fucking bullies on power trips. They're harassing my brother. He was really upset about that. It's like I'm his older oldest brother. He's like, my God, like, this is the country <laughs> we're living in. No one really gives a fucking shit. It's sad. Anyways, way longer than I thought. So I can go enjoy the sun or what's left of it and get down to the water. So, this is a little reality check for anyone who cares about being in truth and, you know, taking care of what our, what our ancestors, what our ancestors try to, try to install here in the land of the free. Bye now.